One of the more time consuming aspects of creating a new AppSheet app is figuring out exactly what your data structure looks like. So that's things like the tables that you wanna have, the columns that you wanna have in those tables, and the relationships between them. And if you're a data modeler who's been working on databases and stuff for a long time, that probably comes pretty naturally. But if you've been mostly working in spreadsheets and more flat data structures, it can be a little bit of a learning curve in order to figure out how exactly to do that. And Google actually has a good solution for this. It's a tool that they have called Start With Gemini that lets you describe to AI what exactly your app is and what you want it to do, et cetera, and it will create that data structure for you, or at least suggest a data structure for you, and let you then tweak it and make edits to it. The only problem with that is that Start With Gemini is a paid feature, meaning that if you're new to AppSheet and using your Gmail account to log in, so you don't yet have a paid account, you're not gonna have access to start with Gemini and then you'd have to therefore create the data model all by yourself. So what we're gonna look at in this video is an alternative to using start with Gemini and that is a new AI tool called Manus which will let us actually create a data model very similar to what we can do with start with Gemini that we can import into AppSheet in order to get our initial AppSheet app started. And even if you do already have access to start with Gemini through a paid plan, it's worth watching the rest of this video just to see what Manus is and what it can do. It's an incredibly powerful new AI tool that can do a lot more than a standard chat bot like ChatGPT. I'm gonna show exactly how to do that in just a minute, but before we get there, welcome. My name is Doug, and on this channel we talk about Google AppSheet and AppSheet related technologies like Manus. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe and you'll be notified whenever I post new videos, which is about weekly. Also, if you do build with Google AppSheet currently, be sure to check out my AppSheet Advisor AI Assistant. It helps you write expressions, answers questions you have about AppSheet, and just generally helps you build faster. And you can get started with that for free. Just click the link down in the description. All right, as a point of comparison, let's take a look at Start With Gemini first to see exactly how that works, and then we'll look at how to do something similar using Manus. To create an app with Start With Gemini, you select Create App, Start With Gemini, and you can select it to proceed. And what it asks you to do is enter a prompt to use to create your app, and basically just to describe what your app does. So I've created this prompt up here. It's basically saying that we want an app for an IT management system, that we've got about 100 employees, that we manage computers and phones, and we wanna keep track of the history of reassignment of those things to different people. So I'm just gonna copy that and paste it in over here. And you just click this little button here to proceed. So what it's doing now is thinking about exactly what that model looks like. And you see it came back with a suggestion here. So it's got employees, it's got software, it's got assets, the actual hardware assets, et cetera. So I don't really want software in this case. I only want hardware. And so what I can do up here is I can say, I only want hardware and to ask, and then I can hit regenerate and it will regenerate the data model. That's done, so now I got employees and hardware and hardware assignments. One other thing, let's say that I've got a decommissioned date in here uh, for the hardware assets, so that's down here. And again, it's, you can see that it's showing you the suggested model, you can go and rename things. It's got some enums here, it's got suggested values from them. Uh, you could add other ones, so really lets you edit the structure of the model here. And I wanna say that this is the plans decommission date, not the decommission date, so I can change that there uh, and hit save here. And now that's updated. So once you've got everything you want there, you can just click create app. Takes a few seconds. And your app is created here. So you've got all those tables created with the exact names that you provided. You see my uh, plan decommission date is renamed there to what I had suggested for it. And you've got some views created for all those things as well. So very integrated with AppSheet, does a very nice job of A, suggesting the model, B, letting you actually edit it to your specific needs, and then creating a complete app for you. 
The difference with Manus is it's not integrated with AppSheet the way that this is. So that latter step of actually doing the final configuration of your data model and creating views and stuff like that, you'll still have to do yourself, but it will actually create the initial model for you, let you import it into AppSheet, and then you can do this final configuration yourself. Okay, now let's take a look at Manus. All right, here's Manus. You get to it by going to Manus IM and signing up with an account. One other note is I'm using a free account here currently. They give you a certain number of credits with your free account. I have gone through this process of generating an app sheet database model a number of times and I still have a thousand four credits here. Uh, you do get a decent amount. Uh, this process doesn't take a ton of them. So if you're only doing this a few times and not doing a lot of other things in Manus, you should have enough uh, with your free account. Okay, we're gonna go back to the prompt that I had again, and now I've got this bottom part here that I'm gonna copy and paste into Manus. And what this is doing is it's basically giving instructions to Manus on what we want to see as far as a data model that we can use for AppSheet. So that's things like multiple tables, links between those tables, uh, do different types of headers that we want and that what those headers should look like as far as the actual formatting. And it also tells it that we're up at the top of this prompt going to give it a description of the type of app that we want to create. And it should research that type of app and suggest tables and columns that would be appropriate for that type of app. So before I run this, you see I've got up at the top here the describe the desired app here. So I'm just gonna take the same thing that we gave to uh, create with Gemini and I'm gonna paste that over here. And then we're ready to run this prompt. So this is gonna go really fast once I click go. So just to describe what's gonna happen, it's gonna first do some research about our particular use case in order to come up with suggested tables and columns. And it's gonna suggest a data model to us and it's gonna ask us for feedback just like Crate with Gemini did. And then once we give it the go ahead, it's gonna create a spreadsheet using an open spreadsheet format that actually has multiple sheets inside of that spreadsheet, just like the way that Google Docs does or Google Google Sheets does. And then we can take that file that it gives us at the end and import it into Google Sheets in order to actually create our app sheet app from it. All right, that's what's gonna do, let's watch it. All right, so this is the plan that it's come up with as far as the actual steps that it's gonna create. All right, and now it's suggested an initial data model for us here. It still says thinking, we'll wait for it to ask us what we think about it. But you see we've got employees, assets, vendors, so it introduced vendors in this case, and asset history. So a fairly similar model to what we have with Gemini. Okay, so it's come up with the model now and it's come up with some sample data to include in the model and it's basically asking us at this point to uh, please review it and let us know if we'd like any changes. So just like before, I don't really need vendors. I don't need to track vendors within this app. So I'm gonna say uh, that I don't need vendors, but otherwise it looks good. Okay, we'll get back to work again. All right, now it's saying that this is the new data model and this is the new sample data and please review it and let me know if you'd like any further changes. I'm just gonna tell it looks good. Proceed. Okay, so now it's saying it's gonna generate the open document spreadsheet with the final design and sample data. Okay, so over here you see it's created a Python file and it's actually running this on a Ubuntu uh, workstation. So it's, it's taking that code that it created and running this in order to actually create that spreadsheet on its own workstation that it's fired up here. So you'll see it running commands over here. And it's done, it's created the file. So it's given me a link that I can use to download that file right here. So let's click that. I'm gonna click download here. It downloaded that file to my computer. Now let's go over to Google Drive and upload this so we can see what it actually looks like.
So before you upload this, one thing you might want to change in your Google Docs settings is down here where it's got this convert uploads to Google Docs editor format. And the reason that you might want to do that is because if you don't, you can still upload this ODS file or you could upload an Excel spreadsheet, but you're going to end up with two copies of that thing in your Google Drive, one in the original format that you uploaded and another, which will be the Google Sheets converted document. So if you have this enabled, it'll just automatically convert those things over to Google Sheets so you don't end up with two copies. That's my preference, so I have that enabled here. So let's go to new and let's say file upload and I'm gonna go to my downloads. And I'm gonna upload that. And I'll go to my recent files and this is the file that was just created. So you see we've got this IT management asset app and we've got three different sheets here. One for employees, one for assets, and one for asset history. And we've got sample data for all of these things with all those tables and those records and the sample data linked together so we can actually test this out once we get things into AppSheet. So that's my app. Now I can go in and I can go extensions, app sheet, create an app. And we've got our app here. Now, if I go and look at my tables, one thing that makes me a little bit crazy <laughs> about that extensions, create an app thing is that it doesn't even prompt you to create the tables for all the different sheets that are in there. It only ever does the first one. So I need to go and actually add in those tables now. So to do that, I click the plus here and our sheet is called IT asset. So let's search for that. And this is the one that I had created just now. So now those two tables are there. I can go ahead and add them. And everything is in here. So we've got all those tables added. And again, it only created a view for employees uh, and statistics, which is a default table for the first thing. So unlike Create with Gemini, you do have to go create all the views yourself. And you'll also have to go in here and just make sure that your data types are what you would like and also define the relationships. So for example, in my asset history, I have an asset ID, I have a history ID and an asset ID. So the asset ID is referencing the assets here. So I'll just need to manually again select ref and select assets saying that that's what I wanted to point to. So again, a little bit more work doing these final tweaks in the configuration, but Manus is creating your data model for you based on a suggested structure. As you see, it came out very similar to what uh, Gemini has suggested. We just need to go and do this final configuration ourselves. All right, so there's Manus. If you want to use the prompt template that I use to give to Manus, I've got a link to download it. That link is right here, and I'll also include it down in the description. That's all I got for today. As always, thanks for watching and happy building.